Giants cap. Danks has bacon on his controller. Alright, Jigglypuff, Green Jiggly. Okay, here we go. So we have Danks. Here on P2. And we have Paco. Here on P4. It looks like they're getting right into it. Paco discovering that Jigglypuff is not as easy to combo. A lot of other characters. I know that Paco says that he's felt he's felt a little isolated in Central Valley. He has to really uh, travel in order to get out there. I hear that he's played a lot with uh, Sacramento and they sort of claim him as a member of uh, their crew. Uh, Danks extending a little too far and then not getting on the stage. I think that was his mistake. After the forward air, he could have just stayed on stage. Danks. Can he start something? Not at that percent. Uh, fishing hard for the down smash, but Paco didn't give it to him. Uh, and there, again, no, no punish on uh, on the down B, even though he was within down air range, or the neutral air might have hit as well. There you see him spacing out with a neutral air. Paco is sort of hesitant to approach, but there, uh, failure to start up the Pika combo, but back air reaching almost to his front ear. And you see... Danks just hanging out on the platforms trying to... Oh. And there we see Paco breaking his strategy. Danks trying to maintain some air superiority, but Paco going for the top platform when Danks is on the side. Oh. The teleport to follow up. But Paco not quite giving it to him there either. Paco's been pretty wily. Danks hasn't been able to confirm a lot of his stuff. Danks is just sort of hanging out and playing pretty lackadaisically. Paco playing a bit conservatively. A little cautious about going in. And when we have close spacing like that... Oh, he gets the, uh, the up tilt there, and the up air sends him off. It's even the stock count, but Danks is way behind in percent. Still, at this percent, this is sort of a quasi-safe zone for Jigglypuff, because the, uh, a lot of Pikachu's starter hits won't KO her, but they won't combo either. The back throw, however, will definitely do it. Paco looking like he shares a sponsor with Mortag. Paco up one clean stock, let's see how he approaches, he just does it. Let's see if Danks can really get something started. No, he misspaces his up air. Not able to get the combo started. This one, also no. Paco may be a little DI to the... Down in the way. But he flubs his Pika combo too. We're seeing some, uh, some free and easy play from these players. And again, forward smash not being the best option. Thanks, just sort of letting it go and get back easy. And now we just have some the game. Ah, Dink's throwing out a rest. I know a lot of times he doesn't like the, the standard Jigglypuff combos like down, down, down air, tilt, tilt, rest, just because he thinks that they're boring and he doesn't want to do any of things. But his tournament life is on the line. Loser gets nice. You might see him bust out some of those moves. Again, Paco seems to be unsure of how to combo Jigglypuff. I'm not I'm not certain how familiar he is with the character. And he's just not expecting Jigglypuff quite to be where she is after he hits her. Thanks taking advantage of that. And again, Danks reading the uh, recovery to the stage. The up air puts Danks into an edge guard position. But she's at that weight where Paco can't follow up. Ah, I love seeing the neutral like that. So tense, neither player really willing to commit, but both player wanting to throw out the hitboxes, assert some presence. Paco with a lazy back throw. And Dunk's just chilling on the top platform, not letting Paco get on top of him. Yeah, yeah Dunk's not quite it, having the read there. Force Smash seals it. Game's looking pretty even. Thanks has to be careful while Paco has uh, the upper hand. But Paco sort of gave it up there. Getting it back right now, but we'll see if he, uh, if he keeps it. There goes Dunk. Didn't have good spacing for the rest combo, so he, he converted it into the disabled card you see right here. Paco very nice going low. An option that he hasn't taken yet. Ah, uh, Tanks made that mistake earlier as well, where he, he threw out an aerial too low so that he wasn't able to grab the ledge because he was still in his move recovery. And 
now you see Dank start, starting to approach. He might be getting a little antsy. He might be tasting a little salt. Papa showing him some respect there on the leg. The rest clean. Here, yeah. Oh, you saw the DI on that one. Jenks has really been working on his DI recently. And just poking. It looks like Jenks might have a chance to, to bring this out. He's, he might be bringing it back. Papa's lead, to be sure, was never too convincing, but he was keeping it to a pr pretty clean one stock lead. Oh, this could be trouble for Danks. Yeah, and that'll do it. Again. Attacking the ledge, never a smart move in any snap. So Papa sort of sort of eking that one out. Danks seemed like he was coming back. Danks searching his soul, but I think he wants the Pokeball. He might be tasting a little salt. He made a few uh made a few a few critical errors there and he thinks he played that slightly differently. He knows he probably could have done something else. Paco seems to be maintaining his conservative play, just sort of sitting back, throwing out some of those Pikachu hitboxes that are, are pretty safe. Just sort of establishing a zone of influence. Daring Dunks to come in, but here comes Dunks. Oh, that forward air was almost the forward tilt was almost certainly an air. I'm not entirely certain what he want what he wanted. My guess would be turn on up smash. Oh, nice jab to grab. I think it was a jab. These guys are getting pretty intimate here. Not going for the offstage rest. I don't think Drunkiness would approve. Ah. Again, fishing for some stuff that isn't quite coming up. Paco maintaining good spacing, not letting Danks get any of the, the stuff that he's looking for. But always staying just out of reach. It looks like the situation so far this game has been sort of reversed from, from what it was early previous game, where uh, Paco would ultimately be the one approaching. It looks like Danks is, is being a bit more ambitious and going in sometimes when he gets a chance in the neutral. Paco looking pretty good here, though. Not quite. With this series of pounds, Danks still has a good chance to get back, which he does. This will replenish his jumps, which is critical. Yeah, he's staying decently high. Paco will force to respect some of his options. He gives him the stage back. A little help from Wispy before doing back throw. Ooh. Beans in there. Gives him the toes. Oh, another jump! It looks to me like he could have just continued the back air combos. Oh, Dunks wanted it so bad! That's that that would have been such a satisfying punish, and it would have been really demoralizing. But now the momentum is all on Paco's side. Now that it Dunks uh, with the, the punish, that's a uh, that's the Jigglypuff down smash hitbox goes surprisingly low and surprisingly high. Now Dunks going back to the top platform, just sticking around, maintaining his own superiority, superiority. But there you see he went in. He went in where previously, uh, in the previous game he wasn't. Now they're not safe on shield, he can grab and jigs out of it. Alright, this is an advantageous position for Danks. But, uh, Papa was able to cover there. And again, we'll see what happens. The ping! You might have see, uh, seen Danks call something out. What he called was 69 in. A fan of the Giants, perhaps also a fan of the C uh, 49ers? I don't know. Now that was a very nice uh, up smash for safety from Danks, forcing Paco to respect the option. Paco in something of an advantageous position here, but Danks turned it around with that down air. I, that has to, okay, I am confident that Danks was going for a pound there and he got the rest instead, and that was an easy punish for Paco. Let's see what we get, we get the back throw into an edge guard, goes for the option, respect, and Pikachu just gets back. Not the worst option. Danks continues the relatively conservative play that we've seen from both players here. Though he, 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 he's been going in like that. Seen. And it's been working out for him mostly. Paco is still playing fairly conservative, but trying to call out a lot of Danks' approach. He's not quite having the uh, finishes that he needs. Not quite having the reads. Yeah, Danks is staying high, staying above Paco. Very good position for Jigs to be in. That was a 
very, very keen there, but unfortunately he wasn't able to parlay it into an edge guard. Critical back air from Paco, and good presence of mind. He sticks around on the edge, lets Danks float down. Oh, Danks sharking out for that up air. Two stocks to one. That was a critical clinch for Dunks off the Angel platform. See how he deals with Paco's invincibility. Paco missing. Oh, this could be it. And it is. Danks takes game one. All right. If Danks manages to... Oh, no, wait. This is game three, isn't it? Free for all. Copy. Okay, guys. We've got a bunch of puff balls on the screen. Got a brace of them. And we will see if Danks can handle Paco's Kirby. Loser gets ninth. Winner fights Danny. Danks instantly goes for a back throw across the stage. Paco looks like he's aiming to abuse some of Kirby's hitboxes as well he ought. But Danks again able to, to clinch that combo. He is going for the victory. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Well, as fast as Jigglypuff can go. We did see a teleport come out game one. And here we're really seeing the game for uh, aerial dominance. Shout out to Isaiah Apex 20, uh, 2015. I think it was 2013. And there we go. Danks can looking like he does in fact know what to do with uh, with this cinnamon red hot. Taking only 18% uh, for against two stocks of Paco's. A very advantageous trade. And you see he's just been maintaining that aerial superiority. He's just been trying to stay above Paco. And he's throwing out a bunch of hitboxes in very good places. Paco up throw not gonna kill. He'll need maybe 15, 20 more percent before it does off the side platform. Odd DI from Dunks. Looks like maybe he was going to uh, down and left. Okay, and there's Paco again throwing out the octo. One of Kirby's main tools, very fast, very big. Oh man, Danks probably missed his up tilt there and got just nothing. Low traction allows Jigglypuff to slide off. Fairly safe off after a lot of uh, Kirby aerials if you shield at, at the right point on the side on a platform like that. You see, he was able to use it to his advantage again. That puff or that pound was a read that didn't pay off for him. And Paco clinches the first stock of Danks's with a well scouted neutral air. And you'll see Danks not giving up the aerial superiority, just chilling on the on the platforms. Paco now. Oh. oh. That was a very tight battle. With Paco, once he had, once he landed on the ground, he was using that uh, that anti-air up tilt. Very, very powerful anti-air tool. Covers a lot of space, both um, behind and a bit in front of Kirby. Right, Danks fishing hard for a confirm. Down smash this time. Sends him into an edge guard. Surprised we didn't see an up smash. I feel like that would be cool this time. And he scouts out the get up attack from Paco. Oh, baby! Baby, baby, baby! And he comes to just in time not to be blown off. That that was that was absolutely killer by Dix. He must be feeling himself now. Down air to down air, a classic. Gets the forward smash. And he is threatening. He is not respecting a lot of Kirby's options. And there we go. Danks up. Four stocks against Paco's one. Is Danks going into top eight? Paco's got to make some big changes right here if he wants a shot at Natty. Oh, there we go. Is, is Paco dead? Probably not quite. Not. Nah. Danks just letting him get back. I guess... Oh, and what do we have here? Uh, another ambitious pound. Dank's really fishing for those. Paco looks like he might be turning things around. He's getting the down tilts, but Kirby's they're both, but Jigglypuff is so late, she doesn't combo into like five or six, only like two or three. And you'll see Danks is getting really aggressive. He's he was really going into that back air, and again, he jumped that jump was coming in in an approach. Oh, what do we have here? 
the, the forward smash, and we have it. Danks clinches a spot in top eight. Danks versus Natty. This game's winner is...